Hey guys, um, okay, so decided that I am gonna try to transition my blog from being um, just words and, and ideas and thoughts to like video and music and photos. I'm trying to expand, um, I guess, my, my way that I express what I'm feeling and I'm going through. Um, so I'm starting today. Um, I'm going to play a part of a Brooke Fraser song for you. Um, it's called Hosea's Wife, and I've been posting the lyrics a lot lately, and it's just, it's just on my heart so much, and I want, um, my guitar playing so rough, so bear with, but I want to express, like, the emotion of the words with the music, because I think that, um, was so important when she was writing that song, that she captured it through, um, through the lyrics, through the music that she played it with. And the song is incredible. There is a live version that I'm obsessed with, basically. And it's basically a cappella. It's just strings and um, a bongo, I think. And I'm gonna do it with guitar, but really light guitar. Um, the vocals are the main point. But this idea of being Hosea's wife, that um, when Hosea was given that message about marrying a prostitute from God, God is saying, this is like my people. They are Hosea's wife. We are Hosea's wife. And not only are we Hosea's wife, but we um, are surrounded by so many people who are Hosea's wife, who um, just capture this, the essence of the story of being um, a prostitute in God's eyes, being someone who sold themselves to the lives of society, um, just to all, of, all the sin that entangles us. Like, that is what is... Um, that's what we're prostitutes to, and um, I can't encourage you more to um, to relay the message of hope that is found in the first few chapters of Hosea. That not only is God going to um, forgive um, the pro Hosea's wife, He's going to allure her, He's going to bring her back into the desert and speak tenderly to her, and um, the song just captures that. So enjoy, sort of. <laughs> I'm only playing part of it though. First verse um, and um, chorus, and then I'm gonna go to the bridge, so yeah. I just book sides with the seeker next to me. She had a heart with hesitant, halting speech that turned to mine as belligerent. What do I live for? I see the scars of searches everywhere I go. From hearts to wars to literature to radio. There's a question like a shame no one will show. What do I live for? Using people like ladders and words like knives. If we have eyes to see, if we have ears to hear, find it in our hearts and mouths. The word that says is near. Shed that shell of skin. I'll come. Using people like ladders and 